Good evening, Smallville fans. So, I watched a episode um, from the past, um, season three, titled, oh, what was it? Oh, God, Obsession. And this was the uh, episode where we are first introduced to um, Alicia, um, who has the ability to teleport wherever she wants. Um, the scene starts off where, well, the, the episode kicks uh, starts off um, with Clark and Alicia's class uh, um, touring Luther Corp, and uh, they're both in a lift. And as it's going down, it suddenly malfunctions, and Clark is seen having to use his abilities. It starts off with the heat vision, taking out the um, the, uh, the the camera. And then uh, punched a hole through the through the lift wall to uh, sort of slow it down and stop it. Um, but then, as the lift fell fell further, um, Alicia decided to uh, astonish everybody. Well, the viewers, that is, by using an ability that she has, which is the ability to teleport. As I've already mentioned, um, Clark was just surprised by this because he didn't expect it. Um, obviously Alicia didn't expect him to do the things that he did um, but Clark being the alien that he is from, from another planet with the abilities that he has on Earth was like okay what did you just do you know so um, this suddenly kicks off the whole Clark being a different person he meets someone who's also different and they start to like each other Clark starts to trust her a bit more um, but however with the title with the, with the episode being called Obsession that's exactly what Alicia Baker is all... It's Alicia Baker, isn't it? Yeah, it's all about. Um, and she starts to get really obsessive about Clark. Um, she overhears a conversation that he's has, having with her parents, with Clark's parents after his dad caught them both in um, in Clark's bedroom having a, having a smooch together. Um, it's exactly what you need when you're about, I don't know, what, 15, 16 years old something like that yeah anyway these kids these days so um, she overhears that he um, gets sick or gets weak around uh, kryptonite um, obviously they still refer it as meteor rocks because uh, we still don't at this point we they, they're not aware what, what the actual name for it is um, so it's like the it just suddenly goes on from there. You know, you know how you get all the bunny boiler girls these days that just won't leave you alone, and they will make out that you're supposed to be this amazing couple, and they, that you mean everything to them, and they get so obsessive to the point of where you think, you know what it is? You're going to end up turning into a psycho bitch, and you're going to kill me. I know that's what you're going to do, and um, pretty much that's what Alicia does. Um, she first of all kills her dad. Well, no, she doesn't kill him, but she chucks him down the stairs. Uh, um, well, not that she chucks him down the stairs, she sort of hits him in the head, and he ends up in hospital. Um, but she then tries to go after Lana because she thinks Clark still loves Lana. And obviously there's still, with it being season three, it was all about Clark and Lana, Clark and Lana. The whole Clana story it was like, ah! I mean, watching this episode again, and realising where Smallville is right now in season nine... I have to admit, and I'm going to agree with uh, the Gorgeous Geeks here, because uh, if you've not seen their channel, um, check out the Gorgeous Geeks, okay? They are three gorgeous girls who are geeks, and they they are they are geekier than I am, I have to say. I'm, I'm impressed. Anyway, um, but they mentioned that because we're in Season 9, there's no Lana... Small, it makes Smallville a lot more interesting and in some ways it does because I'm watching this episode Obsession and it's like I'm seeing Clark and Alicia and I'm thinking bless them you know they, they do look good together what with them both having abilities and everything and you know they can trust each other in some ways but rather than Alicia seeing that the reason why Clark is pushing himself away from Alicia is not because that he still loves Lana but it's because she's become an obsessive psycho freak bitch, basically. Um, that she thinks they're destined to be together and that he should have no one else but her and all this, that and the other. And she'll do whatever it takes to get them to be together. 
and I just think to myself, well, you know what, sweetheart, look at the bigger picture. It's not all about you. It's not only about you and Clark. It's it's more than that, you know. If Clark says he doesn't want to be with you, it's not because he still loves Lana because he, well, kind of does, even though he doesn't actually tell Lana that he does. Um, but it's because he just doesn't want to be with you. You know, you're you're, you're a freak. You're a psycho. So. Mm. You know, leave it alone. But uh, no, 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 no. She doesn't. She goes. She goes too far. Um, then there's the um, obviously with this being season three, uh, you, you you should all remember a guy called Adam, um, who was this kid who supposedly died of a rare liver disease that he had, um, but was brought back to life to by Lionel Luther um, because he used uh, blood platelets that were taken out of uh, Clark when he was extremely sick in one episode. Um, allowing Doctor, oh, I can't even remember what the doctor's name. The last, the the the, the, the hot doctor that uh, Lex ends up marrying, basically, um, to extract his blood for for examination. Um, so, you know, Lana's trying to get rid of Adam uh, because it's this point where she um, finds out that he's got a journal and everything. And uh, the 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 other thing that I loved about this episode, as I say, seeing a past episode of Smallville really does sometimes warm to my heart because it I'm looking at I'm looking at Tom Welling you look at him now he's this older more rugged type of guy but he's still got that I don't know he's, he is now a man of power he's starting to become the man of steel whereas in in season three in this in this episode he looks so young fresh faced you know hasn't got a clue what's really going on in the world in some ways but obviously knows that he's got his abilities and He's using them for the greater good and all that sort of stuff, but because it's Smallville in Smallville, whereas now it's Smallville in Metropolis and other places, just seeing the likes of Lex Luthor, I mean, seeing Michael Rosenbaum again as Lex Luthor, you know, in, in an old episode was interesting. It was just, knowing that he's not in any future episodes of Smallville, um, it was like, wow, you know, there he is, Lex Luthor, um, Lana Luthor as well, Jonathan Kent, you know, every time I watch an old episode that's got Jonathan Kent in it, I just think... I wish, I wish he had not died. I wish that Jonathan Kent would still be alive today to see how well Clark has progressed. Because nothing is greater than having a father watch his son grow up to become a man. You know, uh, obviously now Jarrell has seen his son grown up, um, but to have Jonathan Kent to still be there, that that I think they should have they shouldn't have killed him off. To be perfectly honest. But, as I say, with this episode, very touching, um, but very freaky. So, for any would-be or wannabe bunny boilers out there, you have been warned. Okay? Us men will not tolerate your obsessiveness. Okay? You know, I don't want to come home, although I wouldn't mind being in bed, and a woman was able to teleport into my room. That would be quite interesting. I've never had that happen before. But, anything after that, like, going beyond, you know into my locker at, at school and putting hot pictures of yourself you know, don't get me wrong, I don't mind hot pictures but by plastering my entire locker with your hot pictures of yourself, uh, yeah then, we, then we're going to start talking so yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there because again I'm rambling <laughs> um, um, I am going to upload another episode that someone asked for I might do it tomorrow um, and then next week I'll do another episode um, and, and do a review of that as well so um that's it from me tonight, people. I have just finished my pizza. I am fully stuffed. I am now going to play some games and just chill out for the rest of the night. And that will be it from me. Good night.